Hey. I'm Dave Owens, your garden guy. Hey guys, we're just exposing a little bit of this root flare. We talked about it in the last segment. This is probably one of the prime examples of failure of our trees out here in the desert southwest. Why? Because these trees invariably have a tendency to get, well, buried too deep when they're actually planted. So you see a gradual decline of the tree over years. Sometimes 10 to 20 years later on, you'll see something like this. Some other things we did was just remove some of these crossing type of roots, and you can see these guys right in here. Here's a couple more right here. These all should be removed too, and you can just go ahead and take a pair of pruners just like this. Go ahead and just loosen it up, and go ahead and prune them. This is the time of year we do it, especially on these deciduous trees. In fact, Bobby, go ahead and point the camera up there. You can see this. This is what we're talking about. When you're seeing these deciduous trees, you're looking at a tree that doesn't have a whole lot of leaf growth on it this time of year. It's real important to go ahead and do it this time of year because they can take a little bit of pruning this time of year. We've got some pruning tools out here, and you want to go ahead and remove some of those cross branches, somewhere, some of those inward facing branches. There's one right here leaving a stub on the branch itself. Now, why do we leave a stub? Because right underneath that is a what we call a root collar. In fact, right here, and I'll show you what this looks like, it's real important that you leave that stub because in that root collar, you can actually get a lot of healing, a lot better healing. And you can see this right here. This is a small root collar, a little bit of a stub right on the outside of that. This is gonna allow no pathogenic in, well, entry into the branch itself. So it's real important, leaving a little bit of stub. We don't really do anything on the outside, maybe a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, and you're on your way towards a real nice, healthy, trim tree. Some other things, well, we're loosening up the soil right at the drip line of the tree. So we're going ahead and we're aerating the soil around the tree. Now this aeration is part of the process of really creating great trees out here in the desert southwest. On top of that, we go ahead and add a little bit of compost. And this compost goes a long way. So taking a little bit of this compost, you can use about any type of compost you want two to three inches deep on top of the soil, and it's the ideal situation for stimulating what we call microbial activity. And that microbial activity is real important out here, especially in the desert southwest, because as you stimulate that, you're gonna get better water retention, and you're gonna get, of course, a much healthier tree. The more you stimulate it, stay away from any type of synthetic fertilizers, and of course, spraying the tree with some type of compost tea, and you're on your way towards a great looking tree, especially during the summertime. April? Great weather today, girl. I mean, <laughs> I got to hand it to you. I'm going to go back out and work on some of my tomatoes and work a little yeah. bit of compost in the soil, and I'm on my way towards uh, another great one of those uh, spring gardens. April? Sounds like a good way to enjoy today's fantastic weather.